Cyclops has been getting busy. He doesn't have time to clean his clothes? Come on. He's leading a mutant revolution. Okay, people. Welcome back to another Foosh Review. Um, tonight, I'm looking at the... Uh, Toys R Us slash Diamond exclusive X-Men Legends Infinite Series Marvel Cyclops. They need, really need to cut down on the names. But Cyclops is in his, I guess, his latest look uh, after he lost con even more control of his power. Uh, let's see what it says on the back. I haven't even read the back. Uh, Scott Summers is the face of a new mutant revolution, but only his closest allies knows he can no longer control his powers. So, and I, I haven't kept up on comics lately. I think the last time I saw him, uh, he was shooting out at red goo looking. It wasn't a straight line anymore. It was just kind of a... So, I guess the X is to help him focus a little more. As opposed to his, you know, old school visor I couldn't tell you I just racer X here I say that but now that I've got the figure it's not that bad I actually like it more than I thought I would he comes in the standard you know packaging only at Toys R Us Marvel Cyclops like I said in the other in Storm's review I don't like that they didn't go with the individual pictures on the side now that I think about it, maybe the cat, maybe the other waves are like that. Maybe it's just Guardians that got the individual pictures. They're already printing a new back of the pack. Well, maybe that's a separate piece that they add on. Okay, so maybe they didn't go crazy with it. Uh, standard picture, build a figure, build a figure, Jubilee, other figures in the wave. Inside the package, instructions for Jubilee. If you have any idea of human anatomy. Uh, these are pretty worthless. I appreciate I appreciate the thought, but I think I can figure out where to put arms in the head. Cyclops here. Like I said, the red and the black, it's striking. Now, the paint apps, it's a little it's a little light in places, uh, especially the head. I wish the red here matched the red of the costume. It would uh, make it more uniform, and it looks, you know, a bit light. It's, yeah, the head is molded in black. So, I mean, I don't see why the red up here came out so different than the red down here. It's it's not going to bug me. I've got, a, well, actually, i got some red bleed here, red bleed here, uh... The line doesn't quite match up here. I, and you know, I'm just being nitpicky about it. It's a little light here. You can see through the red. That's on the back of the figure. On the front, it's fairly clean. There may be a couple spots. The belt. We've had a problem in the past of the belts just being loose, so they just flop around. This one is fairly tight, and it acted like it was glued down. But unfortunately, mine was off to the side a little bit. Upon further inspection, it's not really glued down, it's just tight, which I like, so I can rotate it around center to uh, put my OCD to rest about belt buckles being straight. Uh, Articulation-wise, you have, you know, the usual ball on top of a hinge, the new standard. Basically, you know, Bucky Cap, Black Panther, we're seeing the same body here but I'll go through it uh, hinge and swivel shoulder up, up double hinge elbow good range uh, hinge and swivel wrist you have up and down around hinge torso pretty good forward not bad back uh, waist Hinge and swivel uh, hips out. 
you got a swivel thigh, double hinge knees, you got a hinge on the ankle, or the, the ankle, and then you have the rotation at the uh, end of the foot for that kick-ass rocker action. Now compared to the Cyclops we already got on pretty much the same body, it's pretty much the same. The one thing I like, the new Cyclops comes with two fists. I appreciate fists. I like them. I don't care too much for, you know, the two finger visor pusher fingers because in a vanilla pose it just doesn't look right. And the fingers, it look slightly long, that kind of thing. I have a problem with it. That's why he'll eventually get fists. Other than that, same figure. Different heads, of course. I guess he doesn't have to push a button on his visor anymore. Uh, like I said, I haven't been keeping up. And then the other figure in the wave, or that I've opened so far, here's Storm. About the same height, but she's wearing heels. So Now the Build-A-Figure that comes with, or the Build-A-Figure piece that comes with Cyclops is Jubilee's arm. Just... Just the arm part. This part comes with Storm. I stuck it in there and then I couldn't pull it out for the review. So that's what you get. The arm. Which is good. I'm okay with that. As long as I get all of Jubilee, who I really didn't care about before, but she's looking like she's going to be pretty good. So yeah, Cyclops, he's worth picking up. Um, he may not be your favorite costume, but it is... It's, it may not even be a good costume, but it makes a pretty cool action figure, and that's what I'm all about, cool action figure. I got lucky enough, got my pre-order in Toys R Us, and they actually delivered the ones I ordered, so that's good. If you didn't get, I, I'm, I'm sure Cyclops and Wolverine are going to be the easiest ones in the wave to get. Keep an eye on your Toys R Us, or if you can order from Diamond, keep an eye on your comic shop or online retailer. Um, big bad toy store that kind of thing although I ha have heard allotments have been cut in half so if you had a pre-order in hopefully you got it in there early if you like the review uh, comment below uh, subscribe to the Foosh channel we'll see you next time